Hey everyone. Sorry we're having a bit of technical uh, issues today. Um, so I apologize if I am a little late coming to you live. Uh, Bristol and I are excited. This is uh, another new recipe that I haven't tried um, and looking forward to. Uh, I love that you all are enjoying the recipes that I am sharing with you. Uh, if you're not in on my weekly emails, let me know and I will get you on the email. Today's recipe that we are going to be doing is called steak and cauliflower skillet. This is going to be in the email starting tomorrow. Um, I'm excited because I actually have some leftover steak that I need to uh, re redo something with it. Um, the family was not a fan of it, which is strange, but I have to tell you that Bristol is getting the opportunity today's snacks uh, here on our lives is actual steak. So he is, um, he is glad that we too are doing this recipe. So uh, again, to recap, this is the last Wednesday of the month. Um, and so therefore, Bristol's already ditched us. Um, therefore, it's the last uh, day that I'm actually going to be doing my Wednesdays talking about taste buds. So taste buds, uh, for those of you who might not be aware or haven't watched any of the other videos, taste buds is a male uh, subscription that Pamper Chef started back in, I believe it was November, uh, last year um, and what you get in the envelope uh, is three different recipes to try for the month okay and it also comes with a another card that gives you other ideas that you can use with the packets of seasoning that comes in the envelope so not only do you get the three recipes you get the seasonings uh, and a lot of these re uh, seasonings are exclusive to um, these packets. So you wouldn't be able to get them otherwise with Pamper Chef. And the recipes are exclusive to Taste Buds. So for those of you who are actual on the um, mailing subscription and getting these recipes, you're getting a sneak peek. Uh, and I'm trying to kind of hit up a monthly. This recipe is from this actual month. Um, and this month is all about garlic. So if you're a huge garlic fan, you're gonna love today's recipe. And more importantly, you would love this month's subscription because it is all about garlic. Um, so really simple recipe actually, and quite quick to prepare. Um, there weren't a lot of tools that were needed, so I actually pulled some extra tools um, so that I can talk about a few things while we cook. So we're actually today going to be using the cast iron skillet. I'm actually gonna move, just hang on one minute. I'm gonna bear with me one second. I'm gonna move this a little bit here so that you can see uh, more of the actual skillet like I did last week. And we are going to uh, talk a little bit about this, the cast iron. So anybody who does have cast iron, uh, knows the benefits of cast iron, uh, the ease of cast iron, and I just want to touch on the Pamper Chef ease of cast iron is these come pre-seasoned. Uh, for those of you who might have inherited a, a great aunt's or a great grandmother's uh, cast iron, you know the years that it took for them to season the cast iron and the beauty of it. Um, and with the Pamper Chef one, it's the same concept, except it's new, but it is already seasoned really easy to use as far as cleaning. I just soap and water. Uh, you can omit the soap if you don't want to. I already still always do soap and water. I can um, easily clean it and then I dry it completely. That's the key. You never want to keep a cast iron wet. I add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil afterwards. I just take a paper towel and I keep it seasoned. So really simple to use. Um, the fact that it can go in the oven, on the barbecue, on the stovetop, I love the ease of that and pretty simple to use. So I'm going to actually start the recipe off and kind of as we go along to chat. So the recipe starts off with, how about I 
take the recipe card. Uh, the recipe starts off with combining a the, the steak with a tablespoon of the rub and we're going to take, this one is called the crushed peppercorn and garlic. Now this seasoning actually is available at Pampered Chef. Uh, so if any of you have never looked in the catalog and seen some of our seasonings, uh, we've got some at the back of the catalog. It's under the pantry section. I'm just going to add that. Now again, like I said to you, I'm actually using steak that I had barbecued. Um, it didn't go over well at my house, which is strange. I don't know. So I'm gonna, I'm just kicking it up a notch. It was cooked to a medium. So once I do cook it, it will be a well done steak and that's okay too. It's asking us to add uh, a tablespoon of oil and I'm going to measure out here two tablespoons of oil because it's asking us to only use one and keep one aside. So these are the measure all cups, which we have the regular, this was the original two cup, sorry, one cup um, um, measure all cup. And then we, sorry, two cup, one cup. And then this is the petite and it is tablespoons. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, the measure all cup can be measured both upside down and so right side up, depending on how you're looking at it. The one side you would use for things that are sticky, mayonnaise, sour cream, honey, peanut butter, you would put it to the one cup, filling it in, pushing it down, the products come out, no hands are sticky. This side has the spout, you would use it for the liquid and be able to pour it in. So great for sauces, if you're doing your own broths and such. So this is convenient for the same way. You would use the one end maybe for butter, uh, two tablespoons of butter. Again, you put it in, push it out, no hands sticky. What's great is again, I'm gonna use the spout. I've measured two teaspoons, or sorry, two tablespoons. And I'm gonna put one tablespoon in right now. The measuring is right there for us to see. And then I'm gonna just take the steak. So it says combine the steak in the small bowl. These are our small glass bowls, okay? This is uh, the glass bowl set, comes in a three pack. Um, and then we also have the lids, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. So it's just asked us to add the steak with the seasoning and pour it into the cast iron. And to just let that over medium heat for three to four minutes. And again, because mine is pre-cooked, it's just going to cook down a little bit. So to go back to the glass bowls, they come in a three-piece set. What I love about our glass bowls as well, and all of our products, is the measurements are always on the size of the bowl. So for example, this is a 4.5 liter. I can see that easily. So all three, you are never gonna guesstimate what size bowl. And then we have the silicone covers that go across, which is great for something like this that I had the steak in. I cut it up this morning. I put it into the fridge so I can put the lid on. But because the lids are silicone, I can put it directly into the oven, which is amazing microwave because it has a little doodad here i just pull that out it has the hole in there so it's great for steaming or reheating something into the microwave or like i said the oven these come in both the round and the rectangle uh, for those of you who are environmentally friendly and try to avoid extra uh, trash into the garbage this is a great way to avoid using silicone uh, or um, a sand, a, oh my goodness, uh, plastic wrap was the keyword. Plastic wrap over top, this is a great way to avoid it. They don't just fit on our glass bowls. Again, they go across, I've got the measurements for you. If anybody would uh, need the measurements, I can get that for you. I use them on the batter bowls. I use them on several different bowls here in the house because of the size, the versatility, they come in a three pack, which is great. And just again, talking about a few of our bowls, I have ready, already cut up. One of our next um, items I'm gonna throw in are the mushrooms. 
So I've cut the mushrooms up and I've added this into our three cup prep bowl set. We have them as a two cup prep bowl set. All of them come with a lid, which is again, we're saving the environment, a little less trash. And then we have the one cup prep bowl set. Now the one cup prep bowl sets, like the Measure All Cups, are original products of Pamper Chef. Pamper Chef has been in Canada now for over 25 years. It has been in business for 40 years now. Uh, Doris Christie actually just did an article for Forbes magazine, so if anybody is interested in hearing about the founder of Pamper Chef, she's featured this month in Forbes magazine. But this one cup prep bowl set, you might actually have in your cupboard and didn't even know that you had them. They are one of those products that people tend to buy right away, early, they're a great thing. You're like, oh yeah, I'll try Pamper Chef, see what this is all about. Uh, dishwasher, microwave, oven safe, they can go in your quick cooker. If you don't have a quick cooker, you are instant pot because of the glass safe. They can also go into an air fryer. They're amazing. The lid comes off uh, because of the glass. Like I said, there's uh, several ways you can use it. These come in a six pack. The two cup and the three cup come in a two pack. And again, they're very, very handy. Uh, I use them a lot for uh, Taco Tuesday where I do prep of, uh, you know, I make pico and guacamole and such. I then shred the cheese, the onions, the tomatoes, and I just keep them all in the prep sets depending on the size. I can throw the lid on and throw them into the fridge. Again, I'm saving the environment one little tiny step at a time. Okay, so the steak is cooking. It's actually, like I said, just ask us to warm it for three to four minutes. I'm just gonna heat it all the way through for a second. It smells delicious. The peppercorn garlic is going to give it a nice little kick. And I'm hoping my family is going to find the recoup of this. I am stirring with the teak spoon set, which I've talked about in the past. I absolutely love the teak set. Uh, this is the corner one. I've got the spoon going as we speak. So over the medium heat, we're adding the steak to the pan, tossing it for two to three minutes. Uh, sorry, three to four. Um, and we're removing the steak from the pan. So while we're doing that, I'm actually going to talk about the cauliflower. We're gonna add cauliflower today. Um, cauliflower is one of those products or veggies that I love. I love it raw. I love to grill it. I love to, anybody out there have an air fryer, you've gotta try uh, the buffalo cauliflower. It is so good. Uh, you will not miss your meat. Uh, again, if you're doing things, uh, try again, maybe trying to do a few little extra things for the environment. Uh, meatless Mondays. Uh, Kira actually just clued in yesterday that I have been doing meatless Mondays now for about uh, three months. Now, sh she has only been gone to school for a little bit and now she's back again with COVID. Um, so she had no clue that we were eating meatless Mondays, had no idea. So I, um, I love the fact that they weren't even noticing here at my house, how easy and simple, just a few little, uh, just a few little extra things that I'm doing to not only save them, but to save the environment. Um, so again, I've just cut up the cauliflower. I have talked about this knife before. Uh, this is our five inch Santuco knife. Again, anybody who knows me, favorite knife on the planet. All of our knives, this is the professional set, our lifetime guarantee. If anything happens to this knife, if the tip breaks off, if it chips, you call me, send me a text, send me an email, and I will get that knife replaced for you, no questions asked. It is incredible. Now, I am cutting on the flexible cutting mats, which again, I have talked about before. They're great for something like, I can then take the mat, put the trash, the compost right into the compost bin. I love that I can just leave it on my ugly green counter and chop away and not worry. Now we do have a few other, um, hang on, I'm gonna take this steak off. We do have a few other cutting boards that I'm just gonna to touch on today. I've actually taken a few of them out. That smells great. Okay, so the steak stays onto the side and add the remaining oil. Okay, 
Okay, I'm adding the other tablespoon of oil and add the mushrooms. That's easy. Okay, I'm gonna add the mushrooms. There we go. This, this uh, recipe <laughs> says on here, by the way, I love that the recipes let me know how many it serves, what the prep time is, and what the total cook time is. So the prep time was 10 minutes. It was not kidding. Prep time says 37 minutes. We're gonna get this done in less than a half of an hour because it's really simple. Um, and really simple ingredients. For those of you out there who are not steak eaters, obviously you could substitute this. I, a great alternative would be a shrimp. Um, tofu for those vegans and or vegetarians who are not pescatarian. Um, or omit it completely. You could omit all of it and add zucchini to this. I would add big chunks of onion to this. Um, there's, uh, and, and also uh, peppers. I'm a huge lover of peppers. This would be really great as, uh, to add peppers as well if you wanted to do full out vegetarian. Um, so I am adding the mushrooms, which I did. Add the remaining oil and the mushrooms. Cook and stir for five minutes. Okay, so um, cutting boards, that's what I was talking about. Where do I add the garlic? Uh, you know what, this recipe doesn't even call for fresh garlic. Now, I'm thinking I'm gonna add some fresh garlic as well because I love fresh garlic and uh, those of you who do know me know how much I love my garlic press. Um, while I was getting this recipe ready today, I was actually thinking about the fact that I wasn't using a lot of different tools today to actually talk about. Um, and that brought me to the idea that that's probably because these are tools that I use on the daily. So to me, these aren't uh, necessarily tools that are, are new and different to talk about. They're staple tools that I tend to use daily. Uh, the cast iron isn't something I would use every single day, but I love the fact that it's, it's this is the large of the cast iron. Uh, we have it in an enamel version as well, which is very pretty. I wouldn't use the enamel, as I said before, onto the barbecue because of the fact that it is, uh, and it, it, it goes from table, it goes from oven to table so beautifully, and it accents, it's got some really earthy tone colors to it. Um, so some of the cutting boards that we do have that I've not really hit on before is this is our wooden cutting board. Uh, it's thickness there, you can see it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got the grooves in it so it does catch any juices. If you are using this for maybe a turkey or a, or a roast beef at all, this is also great for vegetarians out there when you are doing uh, things like your broccoli. Uh, I have a vegan daughter, a daughter who is vegan, she's not vegan, she's a vegan daughter. Um, and so when she comes and we do a meal, we do like a whole head of cauliflower and roast it. So we slice it, this is great for that as well. I use mine as well for a charcuterie board. I use this other side. Each board is unique to uh, each person. You, no two boards are the actual same. Um, and it's a really beautiful piece to leave out uh, and to go to. Um, so this is actually one of those pieces that I don't tend to let anyone else in the family use because I love it. I love the beautiful uh, look of it. And I do love to serve on it because of the look of it. I find it's a really gorgeous accent to my table and to my, my food. Um, some of the other boards that we have, this is a staple at our house, this is the medium grooved board. Um, great, it's double sided, they're dishwasher safe. It's, there's also a tiny version, which has Bristol's little snack on it. Uh, this size is great for those uni students or people who are single. Great for coring apples, for quickly slicing something. Both my girls, when they went away to school straight away, and we're in, uh, we're in um, their residence for the first year. I gave each of them one of these and our little paring knives and an apple core. So to me, they had a staple sharp knife, cutting board, and an apple core so that he knew they wouldn't starve. And if worse came to worse, they'd be able to survive. So uh, really simple, really easy to do. I am going to add some fresh garlic to our mushrooms. The recipe doesn't actually call for it, but uh, in my world, there can never be enough garlic. 
So I'm just going to add another clove of garlic. It's got already the, um, the crushed peppercorn garlic. And again, great that I didn't have to peel the garlic. There's the peeling right there. It's amazing. Okay? Dishwasher safe as well. You don't have to worry about that. So really nice, easy, simple recipe. Uh, with that, that's the oil, the mushrooms. Scrape the stuck on bits. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I'm going to add the broth. I forgot to get the beef broth out. So I am going to get that. So I did measure my water already. So I have talked about before the silicone prep bowls. This is the one cup prep bowl. And again, all of Pamper Chef's products have the measurements in it. So this is the one cup. I can read it. I can see it's one cup. I only need a half a cup. So I'm just pouring a little bit of water out. The prep bowls that I was talking about has measurements right alongside the bowl. So again, I can use this as extra measuring. Um, they come, they all, everything that we sell in Pamper Chef has the, uh, it has the, the, the measurements right on it, which the reason I keep harping about that is that yesterday, while I was at um, the bakery cooking at Four Sweets Bakery, I, we were trying to find the size of this pan. We were trying to figure out what size this actual pan was. It was a Wilton cake pan. Couldn't find it anywhere. And I thought, okay, I just assumed most products, all of the products, when you buy something, would have the measurements right on it straight away. And they didn't. And I think that is, in my opinion, a fault. Because when we bake and when we cook, you're trying to figure out measurements and how, how things are going to go. You're trying to figure stuff out, and you can't figure it out. Oh, folks, look who's joined us again. It's the steak eater. So I'm going to add the beef broth to the pan and stirring that in. It smells amazing. And now, all it's asking us to do is to add the cauliflower with this and just let it sit going to pour that and I'm wondering if I can get this so that you guys can see it. I'm actually going to add the steak now as well because this is going to sit in my house. The recipe itself is asking us to combine both the mushrooms and the cauliflower with the beef broth and continue until the cauliflower is golden brown and then to add the steak and also to add some spinach. Because my family isn't going to be eating straight away, I'm actually going to be kind of skipping and just adding these pieces together now and letting it sit into the pan. But I'm gonna bring it a little closer so that you guys can see what it actually looks like really fast really simple and like i said to you as well you would be able to substitute anything out that you don't like uh, anything that you know necessarily you don't eat beef you don't eat meat at all this is a really great and easy recipe to be able to do uh, Last week's recipe, I love the reactions that people have been giving. Uh, some people have actually been commenting how much they've loved the recipes. I got a, re a comment from somebody who didn't enjoy the recipe. I got a comment from somebody who totally loved the recipe and divided it and put it in the freezer uh, so that she could hide it from her family because they absolutely loved it. The consensus at my house for last week's recipe, for those of you who don't know, it was a stew. Uh, which is not my favorite word. And so I was excited. I thought it was delicious. I liked the smell of it. Um, my family consensus was they didn't like it. Um, I went to have it the next day and I was like, mm, wasn't my favorite as a leftover. Would I cook it again? I would. Um, and I think 
what I also would recommend for something like that is maybe the next day is adding it to the blender, blending it all together, and maybe using it using it as a soup the next day was excellent. Um, so somebody just asked, who actually happens to be my Aunt Nadia, is that pan going to go into the oven to finish? This recipe, Aunt Nadia, doesn't say it has to go into the oven, uh, but because it's cast iron, it can go in the oven. Um, and again, since it's 1.30 and uh, Dave's on a call and Kiera's in class, uh, they're not eating right now. So it can go in the oven and it can go on to stay warm if need be. And that's what I love about the cast iron. This recipe uh, on the card that you're all gonna get is you're not going to, it doesn't actually say what pan to use. It just says a skillet. I chose to use the cast iron skillet because I love the versatility of it. Because I can show you all the fact that it's cast iron and it can go easily from the stovetop into the oven if I wanted to, or the barbecue. Um, the enameled cast irons are so gorgeous. Um, and just a little sneak peek for next month. Um, next month, if you were a hostess, you get the opportunity to buy the new, it's not even been released yet, it's gonna be released in the spring, but the hostesses the month of February get the opportunity to buy at 60% off the enameled cast iron set, and it's a new color. It's a beautiful, well, let me show you. Don't tell anyone. I just got it this week, or I guess last week. So you can see there, it's a new beautiful blue. I don't even know if it's giving it uh, the true color. So this is the one quart. We have it right now in the gray color. Again, I liked that they stayed with their earth tones um, and it's beautiful and, and a true cast iron. Because it's enamel, they can also go into the dishwasher. And like I said to you, it goes from the oven to the table. Beautiful. This size is really great for dips and little sides. Um, and I just want to let you know that the cast iron, this is still a spot that you want to make sure is dry. You don't have to bother worrying about um, keeping them seasoned because it is enamel. So it's so great. I love the cast iron for the versatility. Uh, and also an FYI for those of you who aren't too familiar with our warranties and such, all of the cast iron are like our pans and our knives, lifetime guarantee. So if anything happens to any of your cast iron products at all, like your knives, like your pots and pans, yes, they are an investment into your kitchen, but it's great because you can use them, use them, use them. And if there's an issue at all, no questions asked at all, we're gonna, we're gonna have that fully warrantied. So, so this dish to me smells amazing. Uh, really easy to do. Uh, will Kiara eat it? I don't really care. Um, but my assumption is she will pick out the steak and uh, she will get herself a different vegetable because Kiara doesn't like cauliflower. So I'm assuming she's not going to eat this. Um, so for those of you watching today, thank you. Next month is next week already. So for the month of February, I am going to be baking. It's going to be baking month. Uh, I love to bake. Uh, one of the recipes that we're gonna be doing is bread. We're just gonna do a simple bread. Uh, I, I assumed most people were familiar with how to make bread until I had my mother and my sister in a matter of two days phoning me angry because their dough wasn't what it was supposed to. Uh, I. I just assume people made bread. Not everybody does, and if you do, please join me. I would love to have a conversation with you. The recipe that we're gonna be posting, and I'm gonna start with bread, so next week's gonna be bread. Um, so if you wanna bake along with me, I'm, the, the recipe makes two loaves, so one loaf is going to be sweet. The next loaf I'm gonna be making is going to be a savory, gonna do it all in one day. Um, my neighbors are gonna be happy because I'm gonna be gifting them with bread. Um, so looking forward to the month of February where we bake. I am a huge baker. Um, and so 
looking forward to it. Let me know in the chat or send me a message if you want to see something specific as far as recipe goes for baking. Uh, I'm going to do some a few little tips and tricks that I do for certain baking. Uh, those of you out there who are bakers know that baking is a science. Um, Kiara and I's favorite show to watch together is Kids Baking Challenge. And all the time I'm thinking, how do these little ones know what they're doing? Uh, well, A, their parents got them into the kitchen sooner, but B, it's, it's again a science. And I'm looking forward to getting some tips and tricks from you and to sharing some as well. So happy Wednesday. Thank you all for popping on here. If you're not getting my newsletter, let me know and I'll make sure you're on the mailing list. And for those of you that are, thank you. We'll talk soon.